Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. As you know, I'm a big fan of Benihana's. You can tell from my previous recipes, I got one out there for the salad dressing, I got another one out there for the mustard sauce and the ginger uh, dipping sauce. Today, we're going to make that onion soup that you get at the beginning of your meal. It's very, very good and very simple to make. So let me show you what's in it and let's get cooking. So the ingredients that we're going to use today, chicken broth, a little bit of water, some onions, sliced mushrooms for the end, we're going to use some celery, shallots, and carrots, and then at the very end, we're going to use some french fried onions. Um, you can make your own french fried onions, not that skilled, they come in a bucket like this, much easier to handle, and just a little bit of salt. So let's combine all these ingredients and make us some soup. All right, so I screwed up and spilled some of the chicken broth, so you didn't get to see me pour it in there, but what I did was I poured this chicken broth in and then got some other chicken broth to make up for the difference of what I spilled. So the chicken broth in the pot, two cups of water, and my measuring cup has got a crack in it, so it's leaking, so I had to keep adjusting that too. Two cups of water go in there. I end up throwing that out. Yeah, it's broken now. Carrots. Inside, a little bit of celery inside. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take onions. We're gonna take all this and bring this up to a boil. Once it's at a boil, we're gonna reduce it down um, to about uh, low and let it simmer for 10, 12 minutes. And once that's done, I'll show you the best step at the end. So we'll be right back. Okay, so what we've done so far is we brought this up to a boil, and then after it became a boil, we reduced it down and simmered it for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, it's nice and hot. Now, the next step is to get rid of all the vegetables. You wanna take all the vegetables out of here. So turn that fire off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna ever so gingerly try and pour it into this container and strain out all the vegetables. Now, hopefully I can do this without making a complete mess. So far it's working. So we wanna strain out all these vegetables. And hopefully not spill any back into this broth. And all we want out of this is the broth. This, these vegetables, the carrots, the celery, the onions, those are garbage. Um, so we'll put these in here. Uh, I'm gonna rinse this pot out real quick and put the vegetable or the vegetable stock back in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this right back in and heat it back up again. That's hot. That's real hot. So now what you wanna do is turn your burner back on, bring it to low, and just let it simmer again for about five minutes and then it's gonna be ready to serve. So I'll be back in about five minutes and we'll show you the final product. All right, so after we strain the vegetables, poured the fluid back into the pot, kind of made a little pool out of my stove. I was able to salvage some of the liquid um, and that liquid we have right here. So the final steps, very simple, drop a couple of of your mushrooms in there. By a couple, I mean many as you like. 
Um, also, drop some shallots in there. Now the soup is gonna be uh, quite warm, so let it sit out for a couple of minutes um, and then taste it. Don't do what I'm about to do. Uh, so the other thing you'll notice is this has got a little bit of a yellow tint to it. And when you're at Benihana's, it sometimes will have a darker tint. The way they get that darker tint, there's two things. You can put a drop of soy in there if you'd like. The other thing is they have it in a black bowl. I don't have any black bowls. I only have white bowls. So I put it into a white bowl. Still got sort of a, a, a little yellowish tinge to it, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So let's try it out and see how it is. It tastes just like it does at the restaurant. It's really good. It's burning my mouth right now. So on that note, thanks for watching. Subscribe, check out our webpage, www.burningcereal.com, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. Today, what we're going to make is a continue. That's stupid. <laughs> stupid. Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for tuning in to Burning Cereal. As you know, I'm a big fan of Benihana's. So we've already made Benihana's salad dressing. We've made some of Benihana's dipping sauces. Today, what we're going to make is that outstanding soup that you get as the beginning as as the beginning of your meal. That's it. It's just as the beginning of your meal. <sighs> Our third installment of Benihana's. Today we're going to be making the Benihana appetizer, their onion soup. Uh, it's extremely easy to make. It tastes great. And I can't think of anything else splendid to say about it. In? Hey, it's Rusty. Thanks for joining us at Burning Cereal. As you know, I'm a big fan of Benihana's. So today we're going to continue making some more delicious Benihana's dishes. Um, Mike told me what to say just a few minutes ago. I completely forgot what to say. So I just said what I just said. What did you say? Mushrooms, celery, some shallots, corn, or corn. That's not corn.